if we talk about a practical of Fuchs law, if we want to explain the practical of Fuchs law, if we want to explain the practical of Fuchs law by help of a laboratory experiment, what do we need in order to prove Fuchs law? If we talk about operators, we need springs, wires, or bands. These are the different materials that can be stretched in order to perform the Fuchs law experiment. Now, you could be asked to describe, comment, or analyze an experiment involving the stretching of a spring, a metal wire, or a rubber band. Usually, this will involve hanging masses from the bottom of above in order to stretch it and then measuring its new length against a ruler. Now, in this whole process, you have to keep adding. You will add different masses. You will see that you spring up and spring will hang. First of all, you will be hanging the rubber band or the wire or the spring from a point, and then you will be adding different masses. Those masses would be acting as a force. Because every mass has a weight, and that weight would be acting downward. So, for example, I hang this spring here. This is a spring. And with spring, I would be hanging a mass. This is a specific mass that would be applying a force. If this force is applied, then the spring's extension, the spring's length would be changing, and I would call it extension. So, this is the way you have to perform an experiment. Now, the accuracy of such an experiment can be improved with the use of a pointer or fiducial marker as can taking the measurements at eye level. Now, when you take measurements, one of the precautions that have you take is that we give an eye level error which is known as a parallax error. It's a very common name. What is basically a parallax error? That if you are viewing a ruler, if you are ever viewing a ruler, you have to view it exactly at 90 degree from your eye. If this is your eye level, it should be approximately 90 degree to the ruler. If it is 90 degree, hai, only then the reading would be accurate. Otherwise, it can result in your parallax error. And this is one of the random errors that can result in performing any kind of experiment and for the results. So this is a picture that I just showed you. You need a boss head and a clamp, and you also need a stand. On that stand, you're going to hang this spring. Or is this spring ke saath, you're going to hang a mass. Hum kya karenge? We would be hanging a mass, and this mass would be applying a force downwards. Due to this force, the length of the spring would be changing. The length be was extend hogi towards downward, which is your extension. Or is it hook's law can they do that force is directly proportional to extension? Now, how would you measure the extension ki aapko jo spring hai, wo kitna extend ho gaya? You can use a measuring scale or in other words, you can use a meter rule as well. Meter rule that can measure up to one meter. We can use a meter rule for this experiment. And I just told you that is in, it is important that you view it at right angle to avoid any kind of paradox error. Hamesha 90 degrees se aapne isko View karna. So this is a very perfect diagram that how are we going to calculate or uh, carry out this experiment. Agar hum in masses ki baat ke, basically the mass would be looking at you something like this. Ye different discs hoti hai. One disc is equal to one gram. So isi tarah aap ek ek disc ko add karte jayenge. Now in total we have three discs over here. Iska matlab hai total jo weight iske upar hai wo mass kitna hai aapke paas? Three grams ka aapke paas takriban mass hai. And this is a meter rule, which you will extension measure. Dega. This is where you'll get the extension, and this is where you'll get the force applied by the weight on the masses. Top tips for describing experiments. Now, in your Ed Excel exam, you would be seeing a lot of experiments and practical exams, and this question is almost about five to six marks. It carries five to six marks. In paper number two, ke se bhi, it is very important. So, number one, top tips. Kya hai? State what your independent variable would be and state what your dependent variable would be. Independent or dependent variable kya cheez hoti hai? For example, mein kehta mera jo independent variable hai, that would be something that I would change. Ye bohut dhyan sunne, listen carefully now. Something that I am changing is the independent variable. Something which is being changed automatically due to the independent variable is the dependent one. What am I changing? I am able to change the mass. So mass mera kya hoga? Mass would be my independent variable. Now, if appropriate, you should also suggest some realistic values for your independent variable. Realistic values kya hoti? That yes, I would be choosing the masses, which would be around one gram, 
टू फाइव ग्राम मैं फाइव किस्म के मैसेज यूज करूंगा and I would be giving them some realistic values, but they should be a little bit realistic. ऐसा नहीं कि आप बिल्कुल ही scripted या fake values दे दो. Then state what your dependent variable is. Dependent variable क्या होगा? That the independent would be changing. जो मेरा independent variable होगा, then dependent variable would be changing the dependent variable. I am not the one that is changing the dependent one. What I have changed, what I have changed was the independent variable, which was the mass. <coughs> Now this mass is going to change the length of the spring. The length of the spring would be changed by the mass in this example, and this would be your dependent variable. So the dependent variable is the length, and the independent variable is the mass. Just imagine if the change in length is dependent on mass, so that makes the length the dependent variable. This is one of the important concept that you have to understand. Then you also have to describe how will you measure it. and what equipment will you use and how can you make it as accurate as possible so you also have to list any variables that you need to control variables kya hote hain that you need to control listen carefully this is helpful in all chapters for example i would choose the same kind of spring i would keep the surrounding uh, same i would use the same stand i would use the same meter rule kyunki some variables should be controlled otherwise they can result in inaccuracy of the experiment और हमने उसको एक्सप्लेन भी करना हो कि हाउ विल आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो फाइनली यू वुड आल्सो स्टेट दैट यू विल रिपीट द एक्सपेरिमेंट सेवरल टाइम्स एंड आल्सो टेक एन एवरेज नाउ कीप इन माइंड ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ एट द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर आई वुड बी आस्किंग यू सम क्वेश्चंस अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड वेरिएबल्स दैट वी नीड टू कंट्रोल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल अगेन आई वुड रिपीट इज समथिंग दैट आई एम चेंजिंग मैं मास बदलूंगा उस मास की वजह से dependent variable length would automatically change agar main kahun that i would change your diet now i am changing your diet i would be changing your meal it would automatically affect your health health is your dependent variable but what i am changing is the type of diet you eat in a day the breakfast you eat the lunch you eat that is the independent variable which is going to affect your health and the health is basically your dependent variable So in overall to improve the accuracy of the whole experiment you can also repeat the experiment several times and take an average iske alawa if you want to uh, improve the accuracy you have to list controls ki main aur kaun si cheeze same rakh chuka hu set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram a single mass of 0.1 kg or 100 g is attached to the spring with a pointer attached to the bottom and the position of the spring is measured against the ruler तो सबसे पहले आपने क्या किया है यू हैव हंग अ मैस हमने क्या किया वी हैव एडेड अ मैस और उस मैस की वजह से हमने एक पॉइंटर अटैच कर दी दिस इज द इनिशियल या आपके पास कौन सा है ये आपका इनिशियल पोजीशन ऑफ द स्प्रिंग द मैस इन केजी एंड पोजीशन इन सेंटीमीटर आर रिकॉर्डेड इन अ टेबल एंड देन अ फर्दर मैस इज एडेड एंड द न्यू पोजीशन इज नाउ मेजर्ड द अबव प्रोसेस कंटीन्यूज अंटिल अ टोटल ऑफ 7 मैसेज हैव बीन एडेड You can also make a table. Table कैसे बनाएंगे आप फोर्स और एक्सटेंशन का टेबल बना लें यहाँ पे लिखते जाए वन टू थ्री फोर अप टू वी हैव टू डू इट सेवन और साथ साथ यू कैन राइट दी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग लेंथ दैट यू हैव बिन मेजरिंग विद दी मीटर सो यू कैन ऑल्सो प्लॉट यूर रिजल्ट एन आई फॉर्म ऑफ अ टेबल सो दिस इज सम हाउ दैट यू वुड बी अरेंजिंग दी होल एपरेटस देन द मैसेज आर देन रिमूव and the entire process is repeated again repeat kyun kiya hai for more accuracy until it has been carried out a total of 3 times once the experiment has been carried out total of 3 times average nikali ja sakti hai you can calculate an average value let's say mere paas teen answer aate hain 2 2.2 or 1.9 of the three experiment what is the average i am going to add up all these values and divide by the number of values total kitni values hain 3 जब मैं इनको डिवाइड करूंगा आंसर मेरे पास सम हाउ कुछ आएगा टू पॉइंट वन समथिंग आएगा दिस वुड बी माय एवरेज कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू वंस मेजरमेंट्स हैव बीन टेकन द फोर्स ऑन द स्प्रिंग कैन बी फाउंड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग द मास ऑफ द स्प्रिंग बाय टेन क्यों हम फोर्स कैसे निकालेंगे डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एम मास इन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स करेंगे तो हमारे पास फोर्स आ जाएगी ना मैस इज नॉट अ फोर्स फोर्स निकालने के लिए वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वेट बिकॉज वेट इज बेसिकली ए फोर्स और वो हम डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एम जी के फॉर्मूले से निकाल सकते हैं 
Then the extension of the spring can also be found by subtracting the original position of the spring from each of the subsequent position. If we have extension, nikarni, extension basically kya hoti hai? final length minus final length minus initial length. Let's say my initial length of the spring thi, that was five, but it was extended up till eight centimeter. So my extension is three centimeter is my extension. When I subtract the final length with the initial length, I would get the answer for my extension.